typically the word understand has a positive connotation. But in student learning outcomes, it's a weasel word. Stick around to find out why. Hey, how you doing? My name is Keston Fulcher. Welcome to my channel on learning assessment and improvement in higher education. Today, we'll be talking about understand and why we should not use it in higher education student learning outcomes assessment. Recall that student learning outcomes are statements of what we hope students will know, think, or do as a result of their educational experiences. Now, imagine if you saw a student learning outcome that looked like this. Students will understand oral communication. Wow, that could mean so many different things. Do you want students to be able to recite the definition of oral communication? Do you want them to be able to evaluate somebody else's presentation? Do you want them to be able to deliver a presentation on their own? These are just a few examples of different ways that that student learning outcome could be interpreted. Understand is just so broad that it's hard to nail down what exactly faculty or student affairs professionals want students to know, think, or do. If you're trying to select or develop an assessment instrument to evaluate that SLO, you have nowhere to go. Is it a rubric? Is it a multiple choice test? Is it short answer? Is it portfolio? You don't know because that student learning outcome with understand doesn't give you enough guidance. There's not enough hooks in that SLO to tell you what the next step is. Now, this is a good time to sag into what I mean by a weasel word. Supposedly, people used to think that a weasel could walk up to an egg, put his teeth into it, suck out all the yolk, all the white part of the egg, but leave the egg intact. And so when you look at that egg, you're like, hey, that egg looks pretty good. But in actuality, there's nothing inside of the egg. And that's the role that understand plays in a student learning outcome, that it looks good. It looks like a good verb. People like what it looks like. But when you dig into it, there's really nothing there. So let's take that weasel word, put it in a ball, and throw it out of our lexicon for student learning outcomes. We don't want it there. If I were in that position and I was consulting with a program that had the student learning outcome that students will understand oral communication, I would stop right there in the assessment process. I wouldn't try to find an assessment instrument. Instead, I would go back to the program and have conversations with the faculty. I would say, what do you mean by understanding oral communication? We might have a talk and they may say, we're interested in students' presentation skills. Great, we've narrowed it down to uh, presenting. And then we talk some more and I'll get some more information and a student learning outcome might ultimately look like this. Students graduating from program X will deliver an oral presentation with an engaging introduction, a logical body, and a conclusion that reinforces the main ideas. Okay, I'll fess up. I did a lot more than just change the verb. Nevertheless, for the purpose of this video, let's focus on the verb. We went from understand to deliver. And that change alone makes a huge difference because I know that we're interested in students delivering a presentation. Furthermore, from the assessment perspective, I now know that we're interested in evaluating students' presentation. So that cues me in that we're probably going to use some type of performance assessment, perhaps a rubric, to evaluate that student learning outcome. To wrap it up, the verb is the most important piece of a student learning outcome. Everything else is anchored to it. Now, the most common mistake in using a verb is people will use the word understand. As we talked about, it's a weasel word because it looks good, but if you look inside of it, nothing's there. It's way too broad and it doesn't help out the rest of the assessment process. Well, thanks so much for hanging out with me. Again, my name is Keston. You're on my channel for learning assessment and improvement in higher education. And if you like the content, please hit on that subscribe button. Also, if you'd like me to talk about a different topic in higher ed, please let me know in the comment box. Hope to see you real soon.